glorious things are spoken of you, O Mary, who today were exalted above the choirs of angels into eternal triumph with God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, welcome. Father Chris here celebrating Mass for the feet of the the solemnity of the Assumption, the greatest uh, honor that we pay uh, in our church. And uh, before we get going too far, uh, those of you at home, please send me your garden angel, and we'll fill you them up with blessings and send them back to you. Here we go. Garden angel at my side, go to the church for me. Kneel in my place at Holy Mass, where I desire to be. At offertory in my stead, take all I am and own, and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. At holy consecration's bell, adore with seraph's love. My Jesus hidden in the host, come down from heaven above. When the priest communion takes, I'll bring my Lord to me, that his sweet heart may rest on mine, and I his temple be. Again, welcome, brothers and sisters. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do, for my fault, for my fault, for my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who looking on the lowliness of the Blessed Virgin Mary, raised her to this grace, that your only begotten Son was born of her according to the flesh, and that she was crowned this day with surpassing glory. Grant through her prayers that, saved by the mystery of your redemption, we may merit to be exalted by you on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Chronicles. David ascended, uh, assembled all, Jeruz all Israel in Jerusalem to bring the Ark of the Lord to the place which he had prepared for it. David also called together the sons of Aaron and the Levites. The Levites bore the ark of God on their shoulders with poles, as Moses had ordained according to the word of the Lord. David commanded the chiefs of the Levites to appoint their kinsmen as chanters, to play on musical instruments, harps, lyres, and cymbals, to make a loud sound of rejoicing. They brought in the ark of God and set it within the tent, which David had pitched for it. Then they offered up burnt offerings and peace offerings to God. When David had finished offering up the burnt offerings and peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. The word of God. Thanks, Thanks God. God. Lord, go up to the place of your rest, you and the ark of your holiness. Lord, go up in your place of rest, you and our heart of holiness. Behold, we heard it in Ephraim. We found it in the fields of Jah. Let us enter his dwelling. Let us worship at his footstool. Lord, go up to the place of your rest, you and the heart of your holiness. May your priests be clothed with justice. Let your faithful ones shout merrily for joy. 
For the sake of David, your servant, reject not the plea of your anointed. Nor go out to your place, place of rest, rest, you, rest, you and the ark of the Nehoboam's. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He prefers her for her dwelling. Zion is my resting place forever. In her will I dwell, for I prefer her. Lord, go up to the place of the rest, you in the ark of your holiness. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, when that which is mortal clothes itself with immortality, then the word that is written shall come about. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who hear the word of God and observe it. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Praise the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out to him and said, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breast at which you nursed. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, welcome everybody. Uh, today, of course, as I mentioned before, is the Feast of the Assumption. Uh, what we believe as Catholics is that Mary was assumed into heaven, um, body and soul. Um, and, and some people, a handful of theologians or, or church um, saints believe that, that Mary was like, right before she died, she was brought into heaven. And then most everybody else says, well, she died. We're, we're sure she died, but we're also sure that, uh, that her body went incorruptible and has been brought into heaven uh, with God. And then there were some people who said she was buried, but then again, even if she was buried, like had the funeral service, immediately following the service, when she was in the ground, uh, they, she was assumed into heaven by God. Um, and I like to look at it, I guess, through, through a, a different lens, of course. Uh, I mean, not to focus on, on that she died and that she was brought up. Now, there's a, there's a purpose for that. Um, but certainly, I, I look at the core of what Mary presents, and maybe this is a good way to approach this. Uh, a couple days ago, I was preparing for a funeral. I mean, somebody was calling me about a funeral, and uh, they changed the dynamics of it a little bit. But the person told me at some point, I forget what the conversation was, but she basically said, well, you know, uh, we used to be Catholic, and uh, we kind of don't believe that anymore. We moved away because of all the man-made laws of the Catholic Church. Now, not, note you and mind you, I didn't say anything to her. At a funeral preparation is not a time to talk to somebody about theology and what I believe and what you believe. If you want to have that conversation in earnest, call me outside of that kind of time and say, hey, can we talk about what I perceive to be what the Catholic Church does? Having said that, uh, and, and, and so the man-made laws, I'm like, well, you do know that, you do know that Jesus Christ gave the church, who is immortal and, and untouchable and spotless and sinless, as is Mary, uh, many correlations between the two of those, by the way, always, uh, one of the things our church recognizes. Uh, but the reality is that in addition to that, God gave the 12 apostles and disciples the ability, and not only the ability, but the responsibility to go out and to, and to free the nations through the love of Jesus Christ, to come to know Jesus Christ. That's how church started. So to say, well, you have a bunch of man-made laws. Yes, we have a bunch of man-made laws. We follow what Jesus Christ talks about and what Jesus Christ does. But for some of the things, some of the trappings inside, we, we were pretty much following the Jewish faith in some ways. And others, uh, I'm sure there were things that we kind of made up uh, to differentiate ourselves from the Jews and the way they worshipped. Not a whole lot, though. I tell you what, what we're celebrating now in Mass is the same as what we did at the very latest of 250, well, 155, sorry. Uh, I don't mean to get too, off, off, too much off on a tangent, but Mary, in essence, uh, that was the second thing this lady said. That's why I'm going here. Sorry, kind of got derailed, derailed myself for a second there. The lady was basically saying, look, we don't, we don't, in essence, what she was saying is, we don't believe anything of Mary. She didn't do anything for our salvation. She isn't, uh, you know, uh, we don't follow her. We don't believe in her or whatever. And I'm like, well, okay, well, 
I mean, I was kind of stunned a little bit and I just kind of zip it and my mind just racing. I think I waited about 10 seconds to say something like, well, okay. Uh, all right, well, let's talk about the funeral. <laughs> you know, so uh, anyway, but I look at that. And the reason why I say that is because with Mary, we do believe certain things about her. We do believe she is totally sinless, that she is perfectly a, a spotless, a perfect vessel. We believe in her um, assumption, ascension, the, uh, what's the other, the, the Immaculate Conception. We believe in that because uh, Jesus Christ had to have a perfect vessel. So basically, uh, when she was born in her mother's womb, she had no original sin. So therefore, she was perfectly equal to uh, Eve in essence and everything that Eve had Mary had uh, and so Mary also had a little lamb whose fleece is white as snow Jesus Christ so what she always tells us is amazing and our church always recognizes the the, the correlation between her the Ark of the Covenant uh, uh, the Old Testament the Ark of the Covenant basically held the um, it held the, the power of God the rod of Aaron it held the Ten Commandments of so the rules and guidelines of what God gives us uh, and, and it had the, uh, the bread of uh, the, the manna. Uh, we look at it as being the bread of life, at least the bread of angels, the, the bread of, uh, what is it? Actually, the bread of angels is Jesus Christ. The bread manna was, what is it? It's manna, it's, it's bread that God coming down from heaven that God gives us. And of course, Jesus is perfection of all of that. So in the core of that, Mary is the perfect vessel to carry Jesus Christ. That's why she is so important to us. And we do believe as Catholics that she is the queen of heaven in essence. And if you understand anything of, of, of monarchies, uh, the queen is a very special person with a very special power. And, and dare you ever go against the queen, uh, it's not going to look good for you, okay? Just saying. Uh, so uh, please don't do that. But at the same point in time, we do know. And we look at her and recognize as a model for us. She was perfect in humility. Perfect in understanding of her position, but perfect in, in, in assuming whatever God said to her and did everything he ever asked of her. If he ever made anything known to her, she was saying yes to it. And bringing Jesus into the world was not easy. Yes, he's God, but at the same point in time, to her situation was that she knew that as soon as she told Joseph about the fact that she was pregnant, he was not going to be happy about it because it was not his child. So, um, so anyway, this goes and goes. So that's our Mary. And so that's why we give her the honor and glory that is due. Yes, it's a human vessel. Yes, she is not God. Yes, we never worship Mary. She is not equal to Jesus Christ. She bore him into the world, but she is a spotless vessel. Uh, and she is our mother in that respect. Um, she, is, she is that one that, that Jesus has used in particular to not only pray for us, but as an intercessor for us, she's appeared in places like Medjugorje, uh, Lourdes, Fatima, the list goes on, uh, where she showed up to, to give us Jesus' message. And what was Jesus' message, by the way? The same all the time. Listen to what my son tells you, exactly what she said at the Feast of Cana. So we recognize all of these things, and so rather than being divisive with Mary, we say, well, this is what God did with her, and what she offers us, and how she prays for us. And, I don't know about you, I do know about you. I know this much. If somebody says, I want to pray for you, I'm like, please do, please do. Anybody that says, don't pray for me, I gotta wonder about it. I'm not pointing fingers, but I'm just saying, I've always been this way, but when I wasn't close to God, if somebody wanted to pray for me, yes, yes, pray for me, I'm a mess. I'm the first one to admit it, you know? So I'm a mess and, and I'm good with that. I'm a, I'm a love mess and I'm, a, I'm God's mess at this point in time. So um, may the Lord continue to move through us. May the Lord continue to bless us through Mary and everything she's done for us, recognizing that she is spotless and sinless and for that reason was brought into heaven. I'm sure that's everything that's a part of that. So may God continue to bless us as we follow her example, as we follow her witness, as we follow uh, her as being, uh, and also the connection she has with the church. Uh, may God continue to bless us through her and our church. Amen. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, let us now lift up our intentions to our Lord. Oh, yes, thank you for a reminder. I knew that. I'm afraid I did. I'm glad, I'm glad I missed you guys. Okay, the Nicene Creed, please join with me since it's a solemnity. We always pray the Creed at Sundays and, and also whole, uh, um, solemnities like this one. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, 
For him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and the cedar at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, and I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now let us lift up our intentions to our Lord. For the intentions of Pope Francis, for everything our church does in its, in its attempts to bring everyone closer to Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are our prayer. For today's Mass intentions, for the poor souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are our prayer. For the people on our Mass intention list, I included everyone, but in particular today, for Jay and Kevin Oquan and their family, for Father H.L. and George Brignac, for Bia Romagusa, for Ann Dillon Copper, and for Noel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who proclaim God's great works, heralds for the coming reign of justice, we pray to the Lord. Uh, pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For mothers and grandmothers, nurturers of God's image and children, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Uh, and for what else should we pray for today? For the unemployed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For special intentions and in thanksgiving, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Also, for all of our own personal intentions, for all the things that the Lord is doing in us, and thanksgiving for what He's done, but also in prayer for our graces that we need to continue serving and loving Him with all the situations we deal with on a day to day basis that we might be most holy in this life, but continue to move closer to God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. God of holiness, the sting of death is forever swallowed in Christ's triumphant resurrection. Through the intercession of Mary, may we come to share the glory of her Son, and so join her and all the saints around your heavenly throne, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for us. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, which we celebrate on the assumption of the Holy Mother of God, that it may lead us to your pardon and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal of God, for through Christ, through Christ our Lord. For today the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your church's coming to perfection, and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. 
Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvel marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself. So from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Mary Magdalene, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. Your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people, you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And do not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am worthy. worthy. You should you enter under my roof, roof, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall, shall be healed. You. Those of you at home, please join me in active spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you, and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen indeed. Let us pray. May God, who through the child bearer of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with this blessing. Amen. Amen. May you know always and ever the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. Amen. May you have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Yes, thank God. St. Michael, the Archangel, Archangel defend us in battle. Be, be our protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May, May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. To thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, of the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits, for all throughout the world, seeking the room of souls. Amen. God bless y'all. Have a great day and a great weekend as well. God bless y'all.